Hello my lovelies and welcome to my channel. For those of you who don't know me, my name's Steph and today I am going to be creating my second look with the beautiful Ayubia palette from Miali Beauty and this is what she looks like on the inside. Now I'm thinking of doing more of a purpley look using these two and maybe incorporating these two colours um, just for my uh, friends that are less adventurous with colour so I thought we would do something a little less overly colourful today so let's get into this so first I'm going to take the Beauty Bay BB201 and I'm going to dip into if you can see this one up here so just dipping in to that colour, I'm going to just be gently, oh that's, I forget how pigmented these are. I have primed my eyes with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus eyeshadow primer, I'm not a big fan of it, and also I believe Wet n Wild aren't actually cruelty free, um, but I'm not a big fan of it anyways, um, so if any of you have any suggestions, Ooh, so if any of you have any suggestions of eyeshadow primers that are good, not too extortionate in price and cruelty free, I would be extremely grateful. You see what I'm doing there? These colours are so pigmented, you really only need to dip in. Um, not slam the brush in like I just did. And that will do it for now. So this has taken a bit of extra time blending, um, but I have been putting it on an unset base, so uh, I think that could have been my issue there. But it's such a pretty colour. I do really like this colour. So next I'm just going to take this Beauty Bay BB205 and I'm going to dip into this purple down here. And I'm going to be placing that just in the outer V there. And then just blending it. And then just blending it into that lighter purpley pinky colour. I'm really not sure I'm much of a fan of these Beauty Bay brushes. They're definitely not not as good as these Zoeva or the Makeup by Tammy ones. I'm really not loving this brush for, for this, so I am going to try the Beauty Bay BB BB204. So we'll give that a go and see what a difference that makes. Maybe it was my fault for using the wrong brush for the wrong job. Okay, this does seem to be doing a better job. Hmm, definitely better. Yeah, I'm not having the easiest time blending out with these brushes, so uh, sorry Beauty Bay, but they're not great. I'm not loving them. <laughs> I really wanted to as well because they look so nice, but they're definitely making the job a lot more difficult than it needs to be. I think initially the uh, the brush I used before this was definitely the wrong brush for the job, but this should be doing better than it is. Because I've used both of these colours and uh, 
Did I use both of them in my first look? I'm sure I did. And I definitely didn't have these issues that I'm having now. So with that um, original brush, the big fluffier one, I am going to dip into this paler pink here, the light dusty pink, and I'm just going to use that to attack the camera, and I'm just going to use that to uh, soften these edges a bit more. Am I doing that so you can see? Probably not, but... That's it. Looks good. So I'm going to stick some glitter glue on and go with the shimmers, uh, same as I always do. It's just the e.l.f. glitter glue. I've heard so many people talking about using this NYX glitter glue. Um, so I think... I'm going to have to get some of that and give it a go because uh, I think this this does the job kind of but everyone's raving about the NYX one so it seems to be a better option so going in with the Beauty Bay BB206 I did read that right I'm going to be going in with this purple shimmer here. You can see that? And I'm going to be placing that one on the middle and outer parts of my lid. That's really pretty. It's a very beautiful colour. I'm just leaving the inner corner open there for the pink. So just then going in with the Beauty Bay BB207, I am going to be dipping in to this pink shimmer here. And I'm going to be placing that on what's uh, on the lid space that I've left open. Haha, -ha, the neighbours have gone out. No more banging. I hope you haven't heard any of that. I'm really sorry if you have. But I think they're doing some work on their house. And uh, they're definitely not quiet. So that colour is another stunning one. I think that goes really well. What do you think? Nice and pretty. I'm just going to take a little bit more of the purple shimmer and just to tap over and blend them together a little bit more. I don't know uh, if I'm keeping you in uh, view there. Okay, so yeah, that's looking pretty decent. I think. So I'm just going to take that uh, BB204 and just blend these edges a little bit. I'll take the tiniest bit of that dark purple and just to blend over the edges. Maybe a bit more. And then I'm going to take some more of that dark purple and go into the 
out of here just to deepen up a bit. Just patting that on over the shimmer there. So I'm just going to take the BB205 and I'm going to dip into the this purple here and I'm just going to bring that down onto the lower lash line just connecting it up to the uh, shadow on the top there and then just dipping into the darker purple and I'm just going to take that right against the lash line and connect that to the darker purple there. A little bit more. I'm going in gentle because uh, where I've got my base on I don't want any fallout. So I really really want to use this shimmery blue. So I'm going to use that for my inner corner and oh sorry and I'm going in with this BB210 um, so I'm just taking that blue shimmer and just to add a pop of different colour there I find it really difficult to plan a look and stick with it I always start and uh, get carried away and it always ends up looking completely different to the original plan and then what I'm going to do is I'm going to go into that pink if you can see I'm going to go into that pink and I'm just going to place a bit of that pink just on the very inner part there on top of that blue just to yep that works just to give it a bit more pop I just want to take this out a little bit more. Just blow that out of the edge a little bit more. Yeah, that's it. Just wanted to create a bit more shape at the edge there, just to take it out a little bit more. So I've picked out these three eyeliners for the waterline. Just try and work out which one I want to go with. I have got the Tutu Turquoise. The Purple Rain and the Go Green, all by Essence, the long lasting uh, eye pen. So I really like them. They're cheap, they're like £1.50, and they last really, really well in the waterline. So uh, yeah, I'm, I'm a fan. Uh, but which colour? Hmm. Green. Mm. I think blue. So let's. Pop some of this in the waterline. I do like this, it's got a bit of sparkle in it. Very pretty. Yep, I think the blue was definitely the right choice. Yep, I like it. I like it a lot. I feel very girly and pretty. So let's, uh, what do I want to do now? Hmm. For blush. Let's uh, change things up a bit and do the blush and highlight on camera and then I shall head off to do the rest. So blush a brush. The blush brush I oh crikey. The blush brush I use is this uh, Spectrum AO5. I like it. Oh, a mirror would be helpful, Steph. Oh, it's got a little mirror in it. That's too tiny. 
So I'm just going, oh crikey. So I'm just going in with the Benefit Rocketer. Looks like this. And I'm just going to pop a bit of that on my cheek. quite a subtle one <laughs> it does require some building up once built up this is a really beautiful color so for highlight sticking with the pinky theme I'm going to use this uh, I Heart Revolution gold elixir I've got these two colors and I think Think I'm going to take the more pinky one. The brush I use is uh, BH Cosmetics number 12. Came in an eye brush set, but I prefer it for highlight. I don't think I've actually told you that yet, which uh, brush I use for highlight. Sorry. I have a brain like a sieve as you will come to realise. So I will either forget to tell you something or I will tell you the same thing a lot of times and then uh, wonder why I'm getting funny looks. There, there, there. there and there. Let's go ham. And then I think I'm going to take a bit of the uh, ICR one and just to, uh, it's a little bit more glittery this uh, second one, just to add a little bit more shine. Perfect. I'm just going to take the Zoeva Detail Shader 237 and play batons with it. That one! And I'm going to pop that under my brow bone. Under my brow? Under my brow bone. I don't know how you say that. There. That's where it's going. This is a really nice brow bone highlight. Perfect. And I might pop a bit of that there. Yes, that's it. So I'm going to head off camera just to do my liner and lashes and I will be right back with you. So here is the final look, liner, lashes and lippy on. The lashes, couldn't tell you what they are, Dopey here threw away the outer packaging, so uh, they're these ones. <laughs> the eyeliner is just this one by e.l.f. Same as normal, lashes, um, W7 Flirty Eyes. And the lippy I went in with was from Melt and it is the one in the shade Stepford. I love this, love this lippy. Apart from my swatching video, this is the first time I've actually worn it. And uh, yeah, it's really pretty color, really love it. I think it really goes with this look. So for my friends out there who are less confident with colourful makeup, is this a better look for you? Let me know in the comments below and uh, if not then I will attempt something a little less colourful, maybe? I try, I try, I'm just a colourful girl. Um, so yeah, that's it from me for today. That's the second look with the beautiful Ayubia palette from Miali Beauty. And yeah, so far after two looks, I am loving her. She is a beauty. So I will, I've still got a few colours left to use, I think. The, uh, the orange, the red. So maybe that's where we head next time. I think so. So yeah, that is it from me for today. Um, so if you've liked this, then please give me a big thumbs up. Uh, subscribe if you haven't already. And don't forget to hit the notification bell so you don't miss when I upload next. So until next time, look after yourselves and I will see you again very, very soon. Goodbye.
I did it again. Right. Oh, stop. Mm.